In SOLIDWORKS, the Revolve command is used to create or remove geometry by rotating a 2D sketch about an axis. It is important to think carefully about the design intent of your part. If done right, you can eliminate the need for extra features and create holes and details in a single step. Before we can access a feature, we need to create a 2D sketch on a plane. Start the sketch by drawing a centre line. This will be our axis of revolution. Then we'll add all the sketch geometry to one side of it. We only need to sketch half of a cross section to create a revolve part. SOLIDWORKS will handle the other half for us. Choose Revolve Boss or Base from the Features tab. This tool creates geometry. If you have only one centre line in your sketch, SOLIDWORKS will automatically select it as the axis of revolution. Then modify the settings if required. And accept the feature to finish the revolve. In certain cases, there may be additional construction geometry required to define a sketch. In this case, the axis of revolution must be defined manually by selecting the appropriate center line. It is also possible to choose a solid sketch line as the axis of rotation. This must be manually selected since without a center line, SOLIDWORKS would not automatically recognize the sketch as a potential revolve. Finally, to avoid errors when creating revolves, make sure that no part of your sketch crosses the axis of rotation. Anything drawn past this axis will cause the command to fail. If you need to cut away material using a revolve sketch, then you'll want to use the Cut Revolve tool instead. This is controlled in the exact same way as the Boss Revolve, but it will remove geometry instead of creating it. Learn more SOLIDWORKS tips, tricks and solutions by visiting our blog or contact us via the details on screen. Music